What's up, Trap Fam? You chopping it up on Trap Bistro TV, and I got another episode of COVID Cuisine for you guys. So today, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of a burrito, a quarantine burrito, that shows you guys, hey, just because we're on lockdown doesn't mean we can't be still eating good. So stay tuned and check it out. All right, so the base of the filling of the burrito is going to be chicharrones, some canned sardines and smoked oysters that we had left over from the last recipe, the trap oyster burrito. Check that out. Some top ramen, a little bit of Doritos, just for a little bit of an extra texture. So first things first, you got to smash the noodles up. All right, so once it's all properly smashed, you can go ahead and put it in a bowl where it adds some boiling water. I'm gonna put it in this glass bowl so you guys can see exactly how much water you should put. Because you don't want to put too much and you don't want to put too little. Just the right amount. You can save that seasoning pack for later. And let's get our hot water started. All right, we boiled some water. Let's go ahead, put that with the ramen. Don't put the seasoning pack, right? Just the water, guys. Just to about there, not too much. Just barely covering the ramen. You want to soak up that water and then blow up. All right, next thing you need are the chicharrones. These are the pork rinds. Go ahead and put them into your skillet or your pan. Nice, delicious pork rinds here. Now these are the ones with the skin and the fat and a little bit of meat. These will make real good filling. All right, the next thing we're gonna do, we got some green salsa. I got this from the market. You guys can also check out my recipe, how I made tomatillo green salsa from my cousin Mallory. Go ahead and check that out. Go ahead and put that, we're gonna be cooking it in that sauce. Now I don't want you guys to add salt just yet because what we're gonna do is add some flavor right here from the smoked oysters and the sardines. Now that's a little salty and that's got a little bit of flavor already. So don't add your seasoning pack yet. I'll let you know when to do that. I'm gonna add that in, stir it all in, and eat it through. Now if you got it, go ahead and add some Doritos in there. We got the sweet spicy chili. That goes along with the theme of Latin Asian fusion. So go ahead and add those if you got it. Nacho cheese or Cool Ranch, whatever flavor, it'll all be. So what we gotta do is whip it up till the chicharroni soak up all that flavor. They're gonna soften up and really absorb that salsa verde flavor. So what we're gonna do now, is just give it a little taste. Mm. A little spicy, tangy from the tomatillos, but what it needs is a little bit of salt. So what you're gonna do is get that seasoning pack from the ramen, which is almost done cooking too, by the way. And I want you to open it up and just sprinkle it on. Not too much, okay? Just a little here and there. Stir that all in, and give it another taste. Oh yeah. That's perfect. I got a big old flour tortilla, probably like 14 inches or so. I'm gonna take you guys back to the stove top, turn on the griddle, and I'll show you guys how to make and wrap this trap burrito. All right, we turn the stove on high. All right, we turn the stove on medium heat. What we're gonna do is flip this back and forth. Make sure we get all the sides evenly heated, because that's gonna warm it up. That's not gonna make the burrito tear when we go ahead and roll it. Once it gets heated through, turn it over. See, my grill doesn't fully fit the tortilla. It's too big. So when I turn it, I actually flip it too. Get all the sides heated up as well. What you can also do, because it's soft, is you can fold it. Try to get it all up on there. Let it heat through, guys. Let it heat through. Patience. Get nice and soft and pliable. You don't want to heat it and char it, just want to get it warmed up, okay? Let's transfer it to our plate. All right, let's scoop some of our noodles up on there. Don't 
Don't be stingy. Get it all up on there. And next we'll get our chicharrone mixture up on there too. Make sure you get that sardine. You guys already know, it's those simple pleasures, those simple luxuries that make this quarantine tolerable. So what we got, a little bit of fresh cilantro and onion. Hopefully you guys got a little home garden you guys can pick that from. Go ahead and sprinkle that up on there too. Nice little fresh taste. All right guys, let's get to wrapping. Tuck those ends in. You want to roll that thing forward. See, that's why you want it to be pliable. You don't want it to tear. All right. Really tuck it tight. Get your fingertips underneath you, tuck it. Get these ends, tuck those bad boys in too. See, that's a restaurant style burrito, but that's not it yet. We're not done. We're gonna take it over here. See that seam? That goes side down right here. That's gonna seal the burrito up and that's gonna make it nice and toasty. Man, you guys are gonna love that. Nice little toasty color on that side too. Make sure you get all the sides. You know what? This is a labor of love. We got nothing but time on this lockdown. Go ahead and use it wisely. All right, guys, there you go. The trap burrito. Oh, man. You guys see that? Let's go ahead and let's take a bite. The best thing about the Luna foil is that it keeps it warm and you save it for later. Man, it's spicy, it's tangy, and it's really savory. That fresh cilantro onion really takes it to the next level, too. Of course, if you guys don't have that, you guys have been on lockdown a long time, can't get fresh ingredients, it's all good. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. That little trick about putting the burrito back on the griddle makes a ton of difference. Kind of toasts everything up and it warms everything back up again. Man, oh man, that's good. Hope you guys like that quarantine recipe, quarantine burrito from the COVID Cuisine Series. Keep checking back. Subscribe to me one time. Smash that like button. Drop me a comment. Let me know what type of quarantine recipes you guys want to see. If you guys are stocked up on one certain thing like Spam or sardines or tuna, let me know and I'll make a recipe for you guys. So, until next time, Trap Bistro out.